Hello, hello. If you would like to join me for a quick first impressions overview of my very first Esterbrook fountain pen, then stay tuned. If you know me, you know I've been kind of going down the massive rabbit trail of fountain pens, which is not like super new for me, but I've definitely purchased more recently than I have in the past years. Really, really enjoying writing with my fountain pens and wanted to just kind of branch out to some companies that I haven't ever purchased from before, and Esther Brook was one of those. So, it came in this box, obviously, and then this like material box is what the actual pen itself was in. But I also wanted to talk about some of the extras that they sent because I was pleasantly surprised. So um, first of all, I absolutely love getting stickers now because I put them on my fountain pen box. So it's super nice to be able to get stickers when you purchase a pen. So makers, if you happen to be watching this, just kind of keep that in mind. Some of us actually collect the stickers on our carts or boxes or what have you. And so this is really cool to have that. They also sent a Oktoberfest Esterbrook um, coaster. This is kind of neat. It talks about things on the back and somebody obviously drew that for them, I'm sure, but just kind of neat, just the same. Then they sent me these, um, is it more than one? I never opened it. It's blotting paper but it may just be like one thick piece. I'm not really sure. So let's open it and check it out. And I mean, Esther books are, you know, common and this is like not like a new video for a lot of people, but for me, it's exciting because it was my very first time. One, two, three, four, five pieces maybe? I think five. So that's super cool because <clears throat> I always could use blotting paper. And it'd be nice to just try a different one than the one that I have. Um, that is that. And they have it branded, obviously, for their company, which is kind of cool. And then finally, they also sent this. And this is so cool. It's like this big, pretty heavy page marker and I think it's great. And a lot of people actually are using it to kind of almost like the Traveler's Company clip. They're using it to kind of clip their pages, um, like their book in the middle. And I don't know if I can, I haven't actually tried it, but let's, this is a planner for another video, but hmm. How would they do that? I don't really know, y'all. I don't know. Because I've, I've literally seen, and probably some of those people are traveler's notebook people. I'm a bound book person. It's not really going to work the same. Um, but, you know, there you go. <laughs> you can see the clip on there. That is that. And then let's actually get into the pen itself. La! So like I said, this is my very first one. And I want to say it correctly. So I'm getting the box. So it is an Esterbrook SD. And this is the Ebonite in the Blackberry. La! It obviously comes with information and then it comes with a cartridge and it would it was in plastic here but I've already taken it out and inked it up. This really looks super dark 
in this so I'm gonna grab my light and blow it out a little bit so that you can really see the difference there is these like purple um wavy type things in the actual pen itself which is just really really pretty and so there was only 50 of these made and I you were able to choose which one you wanted and I chose 15 out of 50. Hello camera. <laughs> there you can see 15 out of 50 sort of. And then this was new for me because I don't have any pens that do this but so it is a twist off which I have that but watch what happens as I twist it. It sort of bounces and so there it's like spring loaded to get it back in. So that's definitely new for me and so my guesstimation is that that is so that um, the guts inside the cap push down on the nib better so that the nib doesn't dry out. That's my guess. I mean, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> um, but I have inked this one up. I cannot remember what I inked it up with. I'm just gonna find a random page that I didn't hardly write anything on. Here we go, here's a random page. And um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think, what did I ink this with? Um, it's a Ferris wheel press. And I think this one is Blushing Mushroom, I do believe. I don't think it was the grayish. Um, but it writes really super, super nice. I did get a broad. They do do the, um, sorry, I'm out of frame. They do do the Jowo, Yowo nibs. Um, their company uses those and then they just obviously have them branded for Esterbrook. But it is also... Hmm, I don't know if it was a gold nib or not. I don't remember. No, it's not. Because the gold nib was going to be like six or seven hundred dollars or something now that I remember. And that is too much for me to want to try a company. I did, um, which I actually just have sitting here. You guys saw the unboxing for the Leonardo. I did get the gold nib on this one. And... Oh my goodness, y'all. This is my favorite pen right now. Absolute favorite. So it just, it writes like butter. It, ugh, it's, it's so beautiful. Um, this one writes well. It's a little scratchy. We'll have to probably tune the nib up a little bit myself. Um, I just haven't had time to do that. It's not terrible. And I mean, it does, it does flow, but, um, but yeah, I, I don't like my nibs to be scratchy. Some people really like that, like little bit of scratchiness on their paper. That's not me. I like mine to just feel like butter as I'm writing. <laughs> and I do tend to push down a little bit more than the average person. Mine will feel a little more scratchy if it's not tuned just right. That other pen is like perfect for what I enjoy and yeah this one writes really well and you can see like there's not been any um any like dry starts you know no skipping no nothing so i really can't complain um the nib itself is really pretty and um is it all gold i was just looking to see if it was two-toned no it's it's all gold and it matches um the top part of the section here and then obviously the clip itself. My first impression of my very very first Esty Esterbrook 
is good. <laughs> it's a super pretty pen. This one obviously had purple and that's why I jumped on it. There was another earlier on in the year, a different one of the same size that had the diamond cast in it. And it was like a black with the diamond cast, which was really, really pretty. And I was gonna buy that one, but I just couldn't at the time. I didn't think that the size was gonna work for me. I thought it was gonna be too fat, but um, because I wanna say this is the, well, LE is just limited edition. It just says S-T-E-B-B-E, -E, so I'm not really sure if this is like their full size or, or not. Um, but I know the other one was going to be pretty fat and I was concerned about that, but this one weights very nicely in my hand. It just, I don't post my pens. Um, so just the pen itself, you know, is a really good fit. So I definitely like that for sure. You guys, um, are interested in, in Esther Brook. Um, definitely they are putting out new colors all the time. Follow them on IG and check them out. They have some really pretty colors that they put up and they have, you know, they're, they're fairly decent prices. This one was more money because it's ebonite, but, um, the other pens that are, you know, just the basic are definitely a little more affordable. You can really get into a pen like this uh, for a more affordable price. And I mean, this is their standard nib. This is just gold plated. And I mean, in my opinion, it, it writes totally fine. I do not see the need for needing to upgrade to a gold nib when it comes to that and y'all know me i would be honest with you if i felt like you really should upgrade which is generally you know almost double in price because the nibs are very expensive because they have made of gold um but definitely i think the standard nib on this one would be totally fine on any of their pens because I think they write really well. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below, like, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.